Hi, I'm Phil Parker and today I'm going to be talking about fears and phobias. Now, if you're tuning to this, the chances are you may have a fear or a phobia and your major concern is going to be, can it be got rid of? Because you probably don't think it can. And secondly, will it be uncomfortable to get rid of? Let me put your mind at rest. First of all, phobias are really, really easy to fix, incredibly easy. Most of them can be resolved in 10 to 15 minutes, which sounds amazing if you've actually got one, but that's my experience. And secondly, getting rid of them is fun. Uh, it makes sense to me that if you want to approach something like a fear or a phobia, which is something, and, uh, and if you have one, you'll know how extraordinarily terrifying they can be. You don't want to be more terrified as you get rid of them. In fact, you want the opposite. You want to have the part of your brain that knows about fun and interest engaged, because that's the bit that will help you get out of the fear and the phobia. Some approaches, not the approach I use, some approaches do the opposite. They make you face your fears. I think that's not a very good approach. It's not very effective. It takes a long time and it's quite unpleasant. Instead, we look at it the opposite way. How can we get you to change the way your mind works around this creature, this animal, this problem, this issue? Let me give you an example of how the work we do, which is based on NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, works. I saw a lady once and she had a massive phobia of spiders. And the problem with her was uh, she had to traveled to northern India where she worked in refugee camps where they have quite large spiders. But also if she was at home and watched David Attenborough on the TV with a tiny spider on a black and white TV that would spook her as well and she'd have to run out of the room. So around the issue of spiders she creates massive panic. She doesn't know why, doesn't know how it happens but that's the way it is. So I asked her an interesting question which is are there any animals particularly dangerous animals that you're fine with. And she said, oh yeah, the last time I was in India, I was in my bed and there was a wriggling at the end of my bed and I pulled the duvet off and there was a cobra in my bed. So I kicked it out of the bed because you don't want a cobra in your bed. And I thought, that's amazing. What, you can actually be fine with a cobra in your bed. You can kick it out with your bare feet. She said, yeah, well, you know, you don't want it in your bed. It's quite a dangerous thing. So I had to do something about it. I thought, so this is a woman who's got the peace of mind to deal with this animal and deal with it competently and confidently. Well, that's exactly the qualities, exactly the behaviours she needs around the tiny spider in the bathroom. The problem is when she's around the tiny sp spider in the bathroom, she doesn't have any access to these feelings, these behaviours. So what we do with NLP is we connect up those two experiences, the experience of being powerful and strong and confident, and we deliver them to exactly the context where she needs it. As a result, within 15 minutes, she was off to the spider house in London Zoo. So change happens really easily. I've been working in this field for 25 years. Most people's phobias are really, really simple, really easy to resolve. Occasionally they're slightly more in depth, but 95% of times they're really, really simple things that can be resolved in under half an hour. You don't need to look at the underlying cause. We don't work from the perspective of it's because you didn't like your mother or anything like that. It's just simply your brain has learnt to respond to the phobic thing in one particular way. It just needs to learn another way. We see a wide range of phobias and fears. First of all, what is a phobia? Phobia is an extreme fear, terror. And it goes all the way down to a mild fear or anxiety. And you can have yourself in any of those positions. It doesn't really matter how strong the phobia is, whether it's very strong or, or a weak fear, it's still easy to get rid of. And that's my experience, as I say, working with literally thousands of people. Commonest ones in London are fear of heights, fear of being underground, claustrophobia from lifts or undergrounds. And obviously, as I mentioned these things, if you have one of these phobias, uh, just allow it to just flow over you because you can now know that you can sort it out. Because obviously, even mentioning the the, the fear can produce feelings of it. Uh, in London, those are the common things, but then of course we've got your normal animal phobias, so that's spiders traditionally, snakes, reptiles, and birds. Well, it could be any, any phobia, I've seen phobias of fish as well. Uh, then we've got phobia of particular events, so going to the dentist, fears of going to interviews, such a range of things that people can have a response to where they feel just not their best, not themselves. When you see phobias in action, they're quite extraordinary. You can get big, strong, tough, rough men who suddenly, when they're faced with a thing that spooks them, run away and cannot deal with it. Phobias are in no way any kind of statement about whether you're a strong or a weak person. They're just, you've learned to respond in one particular way to one particular event that's not very useful for you. And they're really 
really easy to change. And changing them not only is quick, it's fun. So I hope that's been a really useful introduction to the whole field of phobias and fears and knowing that whatever you've got, the chances are we've already seen someone who's got rid of it. So if you want to get rid of this, come and see me and my colleagues and we can help you make the changes that you want.